When we're building for the web, often what we'll want is to have different environments for different needs. So we might want a production environment, which is our live site. We might want a staging environment where we can preview changes and other environments along the way, like testing environments or, or even environments to test specific features. The way that we do that at Netlify is that we build on top of the Git model. So we actually create a new instance of your site for every branch that you create. But you need to, to tell the Netlify to do that. So let's uh, let's have a look at doing that now. I'm going to do that for a site we've created earlier. I've been looking at this, this site, the Vaporium. Uh, this is what it looks like currently. Um, this is created from a Git repository. So if we make changes to that Git repository and start creating new branches, we'll get a new URL for every branch that we deploy. So let's go do that now. Let's um, go to the site configuration. We'll go to uh, the site settings. We'll go to uh, build and deploy. And then in our deploy context, we get the chance to do some configuration. So let's edit that. And we can see that we've specified that the main branch is our production branch. In fact, this was picked up automatically from, from uh, the Git repository, but we can configure that here. There's some options we've got for deploy previews. We'll come back to that in another lesson. For now, what we're interested in is our branch deploys. So currently, we're set to uh, only deploy the production branch. We could choose specific uh, named branches that are uh, that exist in our repository. Or we can tell Netlify to just watch for all branches that created uh, created in that repository and create a build for each of those. So let's uh, let's do that. We save that, save that configuration now. Uh, and now what I'll do is I'll, I'll make changes uh, in a branch on this repository. In fact, I've already uh, cloned that repository. I have that locally. I'm on the main branch now. We can see our, our source code here. It's just a, a simple site with just a few, few assets. Um, and I'm going to make some changes here. But what I'll do is let's, um, let's uh, make a new branch. Let's call it staging. And effectively, this is going to give us a staging environment in uh, the Netlify uh, CDN. So we'll go and uh, move over to that uh, branch. Uh, OK, let's make some changes. So let's perhaps change the title of the site uh, from one product to view them to rule them all. Let's call uh, that. Let's call that the, the Vaporium. OK. And let's maybe make one more change that's a bit more visible, uh, maybe in our product description. Uh, fancy handmade coffee mug. Okay, great. Save that change, and we can uh, copy updates, make that commit, and we'll push push for our repository. I'll uh, push our our branch to publishing it. Let's go and take a look in our Git repo. Here we are, our staging branch has arrived. Uh, and since we've made that change in uh, Netlify, uh, we should also see, if we go to our deploys, that yes, we now have uh, a branch deploy uh, happening on the staging branch. We could go off and we could see what code had changed. Here we are, here are our changes. Again, great for, for just keeping track of what changes instigated uh, an update on the site. Let's go in and actually see the build happening. Okay, that's done already. Uh, and we see now that we've got a link to a branch deploy. So we can go to that. And the difference between the, uh, this is our production version on this URL, and then our staging one, um, we have now a URL which is named according to our branch name. So we have the branch name, dash, dash, and then the site name. Um, if you had a custom domain name here, you could put this on a, a subdomain. This is just how things work by default. But now you'll see that we've got you know a different thing being served uh, on different uh, on our different uh, environments. Both of these are propagated out to the CDN, uh, the Netlify's uh, Edge uh, CDN. Effectively, we've got different code operating in different instances of the site, but both in the same environment. So really, we have a real like-for-like -like comparison uh, of uh, of the different environments. This is great for keeping environments in step. Um, I know it can be a challenge otherwise when you've got complex infrastructure to keep in check. But here, with uh, with this uh, approach from Netlify, what we can do is for every every branch that we create, we will get uh, a different URL in, that tracks the head of that branch. So this is a useful thing for lots of things to come, um, and we'll pick up on those in another lesson.